Tennessee, uh, Mr. Thank Dr. Dejali. Thank you, Mr. Chairman and uh, Secretary Austin. Very pleased to hear of your good prognosis and and hope that your uh, recovery continues to be uneventful and and uh, goes well for you. Um, just. A couple questions. Uh, at the time you were in the hospital, uh, there were several strikes carried out against militias in Iraq. What was your role in carrying out these operations? Uh, were you calling the shots or was uh, Depset Hicks making those decisions? Well, on the 4th, uh, as we uh, have, to, have said earlier, uh, that strike, I delegated the, uh, the authority uh, to conduct the strike when the conditions were right down to the combatant commander. Okay. Uh, on the 5th of January, I resumed uh, my responsibilities, and I fully participated in all of the decisions that, uh, that led up to subsequent actions. I believe the American forces were attacked eight times during your stay in the hospital. Had one of these attacks required a response on January 2nd, who would have uh, made the call on that response? It would have been, well, the president always makes the call, uh, and it's based upon the input that he gets from uh, um, so who would have informed the president? It would have been the, sec the uh, Deputy Secretary of Defense uh, uh, as she conferred with uh, the Chairman of the Joint Chiefs and the Combatant Commander. Okay, on the timeline, when did she know? Did she know on January 2nd that she was in charge? She knew on January 2nd that, uh, uh, that we had transferred authority, yes. When did she found out on January 2nd? Yes, that, 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 that uh, information was clearly provided to, uh, uh, to her staff, and I'm sure she, she understood that. So. Okay, now, there... <laughs> A lot of times our staff are very loyal as they should be, and uh, you know some of the blame has been cast on your staff. Did you ever explicitly direct anyone to keep your condition from the White House on your staff? As I said earlier, uh, I never directed anyone to keep my hospitalization uh, from the White House. Okay, did you ever direct your staff or others to keep the status of your condition from the public or any other senior officials? No. Uh, it's been reported that when you returned to the hospital on January 1st, an aide told the dispatcher, can I ask that the ambulance not show up with lights and sirens? We're trying to remain subtle. Did you direct the aide to say that? Uh, what, I, what I told my, uh, my assistant to do was call an ambulance, and that's all that I told them to do. Has anyone been disciplined for doing something that you did not tell them to do, namely actively suppressing information uh, pertaining to your condition? Again, as it pointed out in a 30-day review, uh, there was uh, a lot of things that happened, but there was no evidence of, uh, of an intent to obfuscate or, or, uh, or uh, you know, willingly uh, conceal something. And so uh, at the end of the day, as I said earlier, you know, I take full responsibility for, uh, for this. We didn't get this right. We put the procedures in place to ensure that, uh, that this doesn't happen again. Okay, well, I respect that you take full responsibility. Let me ask you this, Secretary, and I'll finish with this. If a member of the Armed Services fails to report for duty and went missing for four days without informing their superior, they would likely face repercussions, isn't that correct? If, you know, I, I again, I, I would point out that I was in a military hospital in the Washington but, okay, area but, with- But I'm talking about somebody, somebody, one of your subordinates, if they did that, they would face repercussions and perhaps even be dismissed depending on the circumstances, correct? It, if they didn't report the for four days. Yeah. Okay, and so I'll just finally ask, why shouldn't you face some discipline under these circumstances? You put yourself above the men? I do not, and I have, uh, you know, as you know, I served uh, 41 years in, uh, in the military in uniform, and so I, I understand uh, the challenges, and, and, and I understand that, you know, uh, leaders have to set the example. Again, I said uh, that we didn't get the notification right. Again, I was the patient, and, uh, and so I, I expect that my organization would do the right thing to notify the gentleman from California.